Hello Tofano, my name is Neen, I call myself the Joy Ninja. Um, I am here doing some cash stuffing online, trying to create a sense of abundance on a teeny tiny income. I'm a um, solo parent and a student in 2024 looking for a job. And um, yeah, so the budget is little. Uh, and because it's a new year, I figured we'd change up my binders a bit. So this is what you've, you've been used to seeing more or less for the last two years. I've had all of these binders on the go and this is what I'm adding. <laughs> Too much? Possibly, but well, let's get into it and I'll explain my thinking. I'm going to start with, this is my Sunday Savings Binder. And I finished out most of the challenges in here. There's just a few left ongoing. Say goodbye to Miss Kiki K. I bought her second hand of Trade Me. And she has served me very well. But the spine, as you can see, is really, really soft. So, she's not getting chucked out. I've got a new purpose for her. And, um... And my creative space. What we've got here is my summer stunner. So I save a little bit each week just based on the roll of a dice. My tangy day which is coming in fast and new phone which I've decided well for all three of these things there'll be better places to put them. So just for the minute they're going off to the side. Then this is my revolving binder. This is the money I dip in and out of on a weekly basis. Um, I don't keep big balances in here. And up till today, I've kept things very, very minimal, let's say, in terms of the envelopes. But I am going to be adding a whole bunch more. So that's my sticky. I had to make myself stickies because... There's quite a lot, there's, there's a lot of change that I'm um, proposing. Pin money's going to stay, that's my spending money every week. So I set aside 20 bucks for myself every week and that's my guilt-free spending. I can ha splash a little bit of cash and not worry too much about it affecting the rest of my budget. Household, uh, that's for things like light, light bulbs, anything to do with the garden, um, yeah general maintenance although I rent I rent my house I still have to you know replace light bulbs and whatnot beauty um well it says beauty but I'm not a huge beauty queen I do like skin creams um, but because of the budget this basically pays for a haircut um two or three times a year health um I am actually going to be taking health out and putting it somewhere else Clothes can stay, uh, and that's got 60 bucks in it, ready for a little trip with my daughter to H&M tomorrow. Giving is going to stay. Now, well-being, I'm going to put in here instead of health. So, well-being will cover everything like um, our vitamins. But I also want for there to be an envelope that's more to do with the maintenance stuff. So I need a new a new yoga mat. I will save for for it in well-being. Um, and I want to separate out health, which is more like going to the doctor and playing for prescriptions. That um, that is actually going to become a sinking fund in a different binder. So what else have I got here? Um, I've got hobbies. Self-explanatory, family fun. Um, so this is the one that was in my sinking funds. Um, it's saving a little bit extra, so on the holidays we can do some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put these in here. Family fun, gifts as opposed to giving. So giving is. Um, about helping people out who need it or supporting charities that I like the look of or doing, you know, sometimes there's a give a little page or something that you want to give a little bit of money to. 
um, gifts is um, separately for when my kids get invited to a birthday party or I've got a birthday party or, you know, I feel like I want to buy a gift for a friend. And then miscellaneous um, is coming back in for 2024. It's always been there. Very rarely stuffed it, but, um, you know, it's good to have miscellaneous in the back for things I haven't thought of. So, there she is. Um, I haven't quite topped and tailed um, the zips. I would recommend that um, if you're new to this system, it's really good to alternate the zips and then they they sit a little bit flatter. But of course, I can't do that with my last three. I, I have sort of, I can do it with that one. I've recycled some of the envelopes that I had um, and I've picked off the thing and redone them. Hi squirrel, what's up kiddo? What can I help you with quickly? Nothing, I just wanted to be in your video. Of course you did, throw Hello. your hands in. <laughs> Alright sweets, good job. I'll see you in a bit. Peace, see ya. Alright, uh, so this is my sinking funds binder. It's still going to be my sinking funds binder. Um, but I am going to freshen up all of the envelopes. Some of them after two years are starting to lose their zips and get a bit old. So I've made milkies for myself. First up, this is a new one, education. I had previously been saving that in an online account. Um, and I, I'd just been putting money into it via AP, and you can do that, that's perfectly valid. I've um, found I possibly put more in there last year than was needed, um, and I ended up paying for things that really my ex um, should be going halves with me on. So taking it out like this is a, a sort of a good prompt to me to make sure that I ask him um, for his half instead of just paying for it. Vision, um, I got new glasses this year. Um, so, you know, there won't be a lot of money going in there, but um, that'll be good for the next time. So this is where health has ended up. It seemed like it was a better fit to have it here next to vision and dental. Um, so I'm just going to put that in there and retire that envelope. And I will cap this, this at probably around $50. Um, and then, you know, um, can start contributing to well-being, although this is a priority. Um, well-being is also important. And, I, and, you know, giving it its own envelope is a reflection of that for me. Um, dentist, I'm still going to be keeping these trackers because I do find them... Um, quite useful. I have 500 in there and someone asked me, are you going to colour in 500? I thought about it and sadly this is going to get spent in the first week of um, February going back to a periodontist to get some laser treatment done so new. No, sadly not. Um, I have coloured off $50 in there so next cash stuffing I have to have a look at my online dental account because I do have a separate account for dental online and, and I do that because um, I contribute to my daughter she's got braces so I have a monthly payment for that and I've been putting money aside um, a little bit over and above what what was needed for that monthly AP so I just need to check in with myself and kind of I'll let you know the next time I do a weekly cash stuff, which will be in a couple of days, what the balance is there. Having fur base. Oh, that's something. You might have seen a community post um, that I put up. Um, uh, we lost one of our kittens. She got run over, and um, yeah, I got. A phone call early yesterday morning from the SPCA so um, it was just the fact that we had chipped her meant that they could get hold of us 
Um, she was found in someone's driveway um, and they, that person took her to after hours but she passed away. So the after hours team um, called the SPCA to go and pick her up and they um, scanned her chip and found me. Um, I have 210 in there. The reason I was putting 10 back is um, I took, I only had $10 cash in this envelope. I took that out. I took 10 out of my household budget and on the way over to get her, we stopped at a garden centre and got a Federation Daisy. Um, so I, you know, I um, put her in the garden and I've I put a really nice um, Daisy over the top of her. Yeah. Sad times. Anyway, uh, car. The car fund is, what have I got? 125, 135, still out of whack. That says 200. <laughs> yes. So I will be stuffing some more money in this to get it up to reflect that. The car fund goes up and down because I fund my registration and warrant fees out of this any kind of maintenance, and I had an insurance um, claim to get a new bumper. And so that came out of this. Uh, but in, a, in an ideal world, I would have $1,000 sitting in a bank account that was purely for car-related emergencies, expenses, and maintenance. Um, so that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, I'm not there yet. Uh, but yeah, the system really works for me. The visual element of it really helps me. Um, see where I'm at. Um, now tech is a new one and this is sort of a broader thing than new phone but this is from my um, Sunday saves. I'm going to put this money in here and there's you know there's not I haven't done too shabby on this. I've got 150 sitting there in tech but we all know that Replacing and upgrading your equipment is expensive and I would love, I would really love to get to the end of this year and be able to afford not only um, a, a new phone, a decent phone, um, but a microphone so that I could really up my game in terms of recording because I just use an iPad to record and I don't use any kind of, I just use the onboard microphone. Um, yeah, and I know it sounds important. Do the best I can with what I've got. But wouldn't it be nice to have better sound? Okay, so that's that. Um, I'll just show you this quickly. It's my month ahead binder. She is not going anywhere. I am two weeks ahead on all my um, absolute necessities. That's rent, variable expenses like food and petrol my utilities bill and my insurances. Ironically, my insurances and my rent have gone up. Um, but let's not worry about that, right? Let's just keep saving. <laughs> so the goal this year is to get that, that next two weeks um, ahead so that I can officially say I'm a month ahead. And once I'm there, once I'm a month ahead, I'll just start all over again. Um, I've had all sorts of... Uh, financial um, gurus talking about how many months ahead you should be and I think at the end of the day it's however many makes you feel comfortable right I think that's how many months ahead you should be uh, and I would like to be six months ahead but I recognize that I have other goals and uh, six months ahead is it's not going to happen the next year so I'm just going to keep chugging with this you won't see her every week I think that um, I will do mini savings challenges, build up a little bit of money and, and chuck kind of larger amounts in there. Now this is my, um, my very first savings binder before I was doing mini savings challenges. I'm really sorry the cat's scratching at the door. Yeah, so this is my very first savings binder that I got. Still in love with the old matte sage green um, but the envelopes are a lot worse for wear emergencies stuffed the sliders come right off um, kids savings I had to cut it off <laughs> and then we've got change jar here at the end 
So I am going to keep changed up. It's got $40 in there at the moment. And then for kids' savings, I've got that random dollar there, which kind of annoys me. I think I'm actually going to put the random dollar in there. And then I have one, two, one, two, three, twenty. So what I'm actually going to do is split them out. I'll put those placeholders in there so I've got a general idea, but I'll, I'll keep a proper balance on the back that takes account of them earning interest every month. And then this one here, this is going to be my emergency savings. So I'm very happy with how I'm tracking with my emergency. I ended last year halfway through this tracker. And to be fair, one month ahead is, is kind of emergency savings. The one month ahead money and this money end up in the same account. It works out better that way because overall it's a bigger pot sum of money, so it's earning more interest. Um, and it's essentially the same for the same purpose, you know, if the, you know, what hits the fan. So there's that part. I have a new thing to add to this. Oh, where'd she go? Ah. Right. Allow me to introduce you to my new yearly challenge. One of the things that I really reflected on was that this year I managed to do Caro Cash's uh, three monthly savings challenges, the moon themed ones. And at the same time, I managed to save up all my change and do, do my treat yourself binder. So that just proved to me that small amounts add up for one and for two. Um, I can really keep on track with those small amounts and keep things going. So I've created this. They're cute little cards and you can, I'll probably just keep this in my binder ugh, if it'll fit. Or I might, yikes, I might hang it off that. But you can undo that ring and this will just fit in there. So you've got an idea of how much you've got to save every week. It's based on the Wednesdays of the month. So they start out small. The most you would ever put in in one week would be $31. Um, and where the month is only four weeks, We've got a scratchy one, because scratchies are fun. So, yeah, you just work your way through. I have posted one out today, but I've got three more of these that come with an envelope. Um, and, you know, if you're keen for one, go go grab one. Um, they're on Buy Me A Coffee, I'll link it below. I'm quite looking forward to seeing where this will get me. I've done an initial tot up, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to tell you how much it is, but it's a decent hunk of change, especially if you're on a low income. You'll be surprised if you manage to stick to this the whole year. And look, you know, don't don't fuss if you get to week five and you don't have thirty one dollars. Just put what you what you can. Maybe you could write a little note for yourself to top it up the next week because the next week's only seven dollars. So maybe you could you know, spread that bigger amount over week five January and week one February, however you want to do it. I think it's nice just to have a little bit of a, a guide about how much you want to save. So I'll be starting that on the 3rd of January. 
I think it will be starting at Sunday. Oh, crikey. I don't know. I've gone back and forth with this so many, so many times. Right, so my adventure fund, I have a new binder. This is my, my little celebrations binder. It's got five pockets in it. So I've got them set up for birthdays, Christmas, because Christmas is a biggie, celebration. So that's all the other public holidays that aren't Christmas, uh, travel and events. And there's a specific reason why I put events in this, um, this year. And it's because my cousin's getting married. Uh, he lives around the corner from me and um, his fiance is absolutely lovely and um, they've been partners for a long while now and we're just super stoked that they're getting married um, they're not going to tie the knot I think until 2025 so that gives me a good amount of time to do a few savings challenges and save up some money so that we can attend there um, you recognize these. I pulled these out of my sinking funds binder. So these are all the birthdays for the people who are closest to me and my closest relations. And what I what I do is they're in order of when they're coming up. So Gma is the next one. And then SD Scott after that. Um, and those two will be in the first quarter of this year. So I just save enough money for that birthday and then I move on to the next one and the next one and the next one so that's birthdays uh, Christmas I am going to reuse this track so I have food presents and miscellaneous and I actually found that this year I said my target was 720. I don't think I'm gonna up that this year. I'll do this later. I overdo it with Christmas. I just um, giving it is one of my love languages and I definitely overindulge. Have difficulty spending money on myself sometimes, but when it comes to Christmas I just go bananas. Right, this celebrations is where Waitangi is going to go. This is another tracker I need to leave this binder off to the side. It's another tracker I need to sort out. Looking superb at the moment. And I'm not entirely sure if I will get this fully funded or not, but we'll. You know, we'll give it our best shot. We've got 35, 37 at the moment, and it's a, it's a $200 savings challenge. Um, I know that we won't be going away. Um, you know, we just... Uh, I'd love to go camping on my tangy weekend, but not this year. That's not going to happen. I think it's quite nice to have these separate from sinking funds um this is like this is the fun binder right <laughs> but i am going to be trying to stuff a little bit in there every week okay so now onto my savings binders i've got this and this and some other bits and pieces So when those amounts are saved up then we can decide you know whether they're going to go into a sinking fund or um, I'm going to treat myself or uh, whether I need to put it towards somebody's birthday or Christmas or whatever. So 
this is kind of like, I guess what other people would call their, mani their manifestation binder. Um, you might recognize this. I used to use this to um, keep my business accounts in order. Um, you know, and I, look, I did it that way because I saw um, other budgeters stuffing money for their business in cash. And uh, I thought that's what you, you know, you had to do or I thought that's what I had to do. But actually, it works best if I just leave the money online because everything I need, like vinyl supplies, um, postage, packaging supplies, I either buy it on FPOS or I order it online and use my my card that way. So there's actually no point in having cash. Um, yeah, it was just overcomplicating matters. So I have reused the binder. It's um, it's bigger. It's a A5, which is good because it means I can fit in things like the lovely Liz and Les's bougie. So that's. That's one I'm going to start. These are all new challenges, I'm pretty sure. Actually, don't quote me on that. This is new. This is up on my Buy Me A Coffee. It's a freebie. It's called Habit Stack. Um, I have rather generously said to myself that each of these books will be $5. <laughs> I might change my mind on that. But there's 30 there. And the intention is, if you're having... Um, you know, you've got a New Year's resolution where you exercise every day and you want to reward yourself, maybe not with a muffin, but, you know, like with some savings, then this could be a great way to do that. Um, my New Year's resolution is to take time to do some meditation every day. And, um, yeah, so every day that I do that, in fact, we can colour in today because I did it. So that'll be good. Uh, this is another gamey one. Roll the dice. This one is actually a quilt pattern. Bet you didn't know that um, I used to make quilts. Just haven't made any in a long while. But I do like quilting. And the, I downloaded this somewhere. What I liked about it was that um, it looked like a colouring in page and it has numbers on it. So think outside the square. If you're someone that can't afford um, to go and buy some challenges, think outside the square. I think, who was it? Just roll it in glitter. Australian um, budgeter. She just used a colouring in book. And um, so each part of the design that she coloured in, she put some money in. So there's an idea. Or you could go to buy me a coffee because I've got a whole bunch of free ones like that habit stack. But there's emergency and detonator on there that are free as well. Might be some others. Oh, Kinner and the Kit. There's a few. Go check it. Check it out. Um, Hippo Budgets, they're on Etsy. I got these ages ago. Like, so long before I started my channel. Um, yeah, so there's a $150 and a $500 savings channel challenge there. I'm just waffling now. Grateful Heart, that's one of mine. Another freebie. Uh, mini savings, so that's, so that's one through 24 envelope. This is Heidi Nash. Um, I think her website's called debtfree, debtfreecharts.com. Um, she's, she's got heaps. She's prolific. Um, there's a hundred houses on here. So what I've decided is that first row will be dollar, then two dollars, and on down to fifteen. So that each time I'm doing stuffing, it's only a little a little amount, but it will add up. And last in here, but most important, is my home tracker. And one Afghani dollar. That's like a real Afghani dollar, by the way. There's a story that goes with that. Remind me, I'll tell you some other time. 
<laughs> the video is getting a bit long. Um, each of these keys will be two grand for 50k, which is a lot of money. But here's the thing, even though I'm on a low income, I still, I feel like I need to, to voice the desire to be a homeowner again. I mean, with me, I used to own a home and I used to be married and now I'm not married and I don't own a home. Fill in the blanks. All I will say is that my ex-husband was of the variety who actually said to me, if you, if you dare try and leave me, I will ruin your life. You are nothing without me. Yeah. So at 47, it feels like, it kind of feels like it's too late. But I've just, I've had lots of signs recently. Like I picked up a book a friend bought from, um, with her, hello. 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 So a friend of mine showed me a book that she bought for Christmas and I picked it up and opened it and the first page said, what if you can? But what if you can? And I've had lots of kind of just funny little prompts like that recently. Anyway, this is my house manifesting binder. All of these challenges, though they might take me ages, are all going to be fed towards that back one, which is building up a deposit for a house. And I know that 50k is a bit light. Probably going to need more than that, but we'll jump that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, I need to stop worrying about the what-ifs and the future and just say what I need in the here and now. Hello, darling. Come on, Novst. Poor old Nova has lost his sister and he's become very, very needy in the last day. All right. The last things I want to show you are, this is my little book of savings challenges. I made this. I will give you one. Well, no, I won't. I will sell you one. Um, shortly, go over to buy me a coffee. I haven't done a proper photo shoot and stuff, but this is it. This is what it looks like. There's a little welcome thingy in there. And then it's, it's built like a checkbook. And I've actually cut that first one out and I've laminated it. Um, because I need to do it that way uh, because I'm on a low income and I won't necessarily have $15 in one week in change left over from my weekly shopping and stuff to be able to stuff these higher numbers. So the plan is to stuff what I can and then um, rub all of those off, total them up on my calculator and um, tick off the higher numbers. So that's why I've laminated it. Um, but that's in there. So I have, I think it was 18 challenges in here. There's a Year of the Dragon one. That's nice and low. There's uh, this one, which is inspired by Valentine's Day. And these are scratchies. Then we've got Nature. <laughs> and these are also scratchies too. So there's quite small amounts in there. This one is based on an 80s game show, The Money or the Bag, or It's in the Bag was the name of the game show, but the um, John Tugard, the um, presenter, his catchphrase it was, what'll it be New Zealand, the money or the bag? So there's some instructions there, but honestly, you can play it however you like. Um, there's High Five. So you see, I've just cut this out. And you've got a little stub there that you can note when you started it, finished it, totaled, saved, and where you were going to put the money. There's a colouring in one. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch there to kind of cover off a number of different occasions. We've even got 2024, which is another one I want to start sooner rather than later, but I probably won't start until February. 
So this one is just every part um, is $24 in and you just colour it in for each section that you're you're depositing money into your envelope. And then right at the back, I've got um, like an overall tracker. So you can see how much you've saved and total it up at the end of the year and where you've allocated it. Yeah, oh, and as a, as a bonus bonus, um, I've put some little placeholders on the back, which I think are super useful, especially if you're just starting out. Um, so I think I did three 100s and two 500s, just to get you going. Yeah, and two 500s. So yeah, that's my little book of savings challenge rules. And the sense makes sense is going into my change jar envelope at the back here. Like so. And in actual fact, this change here, I did count it up. This is going to contribute to this challenge. And I I wonder if you remember Pearl. I bought her back because basically I had to design a challenge because I, I love this. I spent good money on her um, and she needs to be used. So I did some totting up and I won't bore you by pouring it all out. You'll just have to trust me. In here, we've got $29.10. So that means I can do the 15 and the 14 10. Right, I'm going to turn the sound off, sound off now while I chuck all of this in here. Alrighty, so she's got her first deposit. And this whole tracker saves over a thousand dollars. It saves 1,132 bucks, which um nice. Super useful. Be very happy about that. <laughs> You'd think I'd um finished with all the saving challenges, but no. But wait, <laughs> there's more. There's actually more. I'm going to put that somewhere. Yes, as I was saying, but wait, there is more. I have my 1K savings challenge binder. And this is, I think, what I'm going to use to feed my one month ahead. Because we're starting off the year with that money that's out of my savings challenge jar, I think I'm going to put that in here to get this started. I've got four tens, so I just think I'm going to go ten, ten, ten. Just stuff those first four pockets. And yes, I make these, I had them on Etsy, but um, they weren't really selling. I will put them up on Buy Me A Coffee if, um, if you want one, just leave me a comment below. I have $1,000 savings challenges and I have 10K savings challenges too. All sort of based around the sort of pocket idea with the tracker at the front. Yep, so that's that one. Last but not least, and I put advance on the front there. This will be for 
definitely for house savings and it's definitely going to be a slow burn. I don't expect to get finished um, by the end of the year, especially not with all of this lot going on. And um, I may have bitten off more than I can chew, but, you know, I keep being prompted, but what if you haven't? <laughs> so, I don't know. It's the new year. I'm just going to go wild and give it my best shot is what I'm going to do. So this 100 envelope savings challenge, you're very it's unlikely that it'll come out every week. But if I'm able to sell um, goods that we no longer need, for example, or I get an, um, a little windfall, like I do a bit of babysitting or um, house sitting or cat sitting or... You know, there's, there's ways in which you can get little extra bits of income. And I just think, if I have this set up, then I've already got a plan for where that money's going. And if I have a plan, I'm less likely to let it sit in my wallet and just fritter it away on things that I supposedly need. Um, it's, that's, the, that's the abundance mindset that I... Um, that I can't allow money to not have a purpose because then I'm giving myself lots of opportunities to um, spend it on things that don't give me a lasting sense of abundance. All right, I know that this was a super long video and there were lots of interruptions. Hopefully I will be able to edit most of those out. Um, and I know that this is a bit late coming, but please forgive me. I still feel really quite... Um, Quite sad about our cat's passing. Um, if you've ever been a, you know, a pet owner, you'll you'll understand. It was unexpected uh, getting that phone call, and straight after that phone call, friend turned up because I'm making her an outfit to go to her brother's wedding. I'll show you real quick. This is the um, fabric. It's super stretchy, slippery, and thin. So it's not the easiest stuff to work with, but OMG, I'm making her like um, pants with a draped top on the top, you know, like pantsuit, romper, whatever you want to call it. She looks amazing in it. She's a lot skinnier than me and taller and she looks like an absolute goddess. So I was busy doing that, got through the flipping appointment and then went and picked up Delilah and just felt sad for the rest of the day I just couldn't bring myself to, to summon any kind of vibe or energy for you and I'm probably not summoning a heap of a vibe or energy for you right now and I yeah I'm sorry I'll come right I hope you had a wonderful New Year's and um, I'll see you soon Kia ora.